All right. Just beat Zashiki. And we should be good to continue. <laughs> Everyone's an idiot. I bet that you'd make your way out of the House of Illusions and manage to escape without falling into depravity. I've been keeping an eye on you ever since you first came to the mountain. That's why I don't believe you'll let yourself be seduced by that little girl. Come back and play with us anytime. Everyone will be waiting for you here, smashed off their faces. What's with that look? You feeling smug about your easy victory? <laughs> it's the real deal from here on! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, it'll work. It's a trap that'll help us fuck that human. Can you make us some of that tough looking sparkly stuff? Hmm, but I don't want to make that sort of imitation stuff. Hey, a job's a job. We won't have enough people to make it without you. I won't ask you to do anything after this. Oh, Yep. No way of getting through those boulders. Whack the fox. <clears throat> I can't climb the vines. Good work, Master! Yamachichi-san! As you know, I'm always by your side. However, I will appear from time to time when there is something I feel will surely be useful for you to hear. Please don't hesitate to call out to this humble retainer whenever you see me. Thank you, Yamachichi. You've been a huge help. <laughs> ah! Um. Anyway, putting that aside, Zashiki Dono isn't known around this mountain. She must have arrived recently, the same as you. What? I managed somehow, but she was pretty strong. I get the feeling I'll be seeing her again. If that's what you think, Master, then it must surely be so. But you aren't the sort of person to be taken down by something uh, posing as a little girl. She's giving me way too much credit. <laughs> you into that, Hakun? However, you'll be facing a different opponent this time. Huh? Again, an interesting style where the torso's just floating there. Although the flower actually being in place of the lady bits is a nice little touch. But those lower buds, looks like she could use them to pleasure herself with. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, yeah, nice design. I like it. Huh? <laughs> Human? In what way would you think that is a human? Is it the hair? No, that's clearly petals. Is it... The clothes? No, those are clearly petals. You obviously didn't see the fact that her torso's floating. It must be the green skin that gave it away. <laughs> no, it's some kind of plant? They are the bewitching beauties known as Kodama. Kodama? Are they some kind of flower yokai? Kind of looks like they're rooted to the ground. That's right. How do I put this? They're very slow. You could effectively say they're incapable of movement. So I don't have to worry about them chasing me, right? But it probably won't be that easy. It's as you say, Master. Basically, their main hunting strategy is to tempt their prey into being food. Huh? 
I'll have to be stronger than ever to, before to resist them. Well, if it's you, Master, then I'm sure you'll be fine. Hee <laughs> hee. Now then, I shall return to my duties. Okay, thank you. Alright. I don't believe they'll attack us here. We can't exactly get to them to talk to. Oh, it's you. Did you learn how to provoke yet? Provoke is a skill that can decide the outcome of a battle one shot. Though, that doesn't apply if you're going up against a large opponent. Well, how do I put this? Use it if you want to lose quickly. <laughs> Alright. Your master is idolized by everyone here on the mountain. But there's a couple of yokai on the same level as her known as the two. They're not getting on with your master at the moment. Can you use rest properly yet? It's a super important skill during tests of endurance. Idol should be kept as the last resort only. Be sure to use rest well. Alright, I don't think there's any of them close enough to talk to. Mechodama-chan are experts in sucking out energy. They can suck out your energy by kissing you with their tentacles. Be careful not to carelessly touch them. Alright, let's move on. Aha! <clears throat> Alright, these should be safe to talk to. Ah, good day to you, thin-looking human sand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've accumulated enough energy during your training, haven't you? But I wonder if it's worth sucking it out of you. Are you more suited to being food for the kitsune? We Kodama are all gourmets. We don't take just any male's energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you wish to copulate with us? Well then, you should continue on through here. Alright, well, we got pollen floating around. Hope it doesn't mess with my allergies. It's all hazy when I ever smell that free, sweet fragrance. Just don't go huffing too much, okay? You might get arrested. <laughs> I'm coming again today to smell this fragrance. Oh man, it gets me crazy turned on. Well, I guess I should get out of here before she gets any ideas. <laughs> your energy is the fundamental source of your strength. Do you remember? The Kodama-chan here can suck out your energy if you touch them, so watch out. Hikitsune up there looking all around all over the place is a real nuisance. She smelled too much of the Kodama-chan fragrance and lost her mind a little. Oh, only a little, you say? Alright, just go slow, don't walk straight into them, and you're fine. <clears throat> they can't do crap. <laughs> uh, 
a bunch of things happen in response to your energy decreasing. Your maximum willpower and vitality are both affected, as well as the chances of getting a first strike. Well, I don't think I've lost any energy yet. Oh, I have. <laughs> uh, that might be a bit of an issue. That's oh well. Ah, you want to do it? You want to do it? Fight. <laughs> you came at a good time. In this kind of place, the scent of flowers is oppressive. The longer I stay, the worse it'll get. Alright, this one you have to make especially sure you stay rested. Moves her hands, huh? So we gotta make sure to seal her hands. Arm bind jar. Alright. Then we gotta make sure we rest. And rest again. Let's run. Alright, rest again. Oh, she's fast. We're going to have to bind her legs. Not good. Not to rest again. Too risky, I gotta rest. But still, I gotta do something. Alright, give her stiff legs. Still be able to rest. Getting tired. Hey, hey, human coon, take a little pity on me. I just want to suck some of your vitality. Just a little will be fine. I'll give you a nice little something as thanks if you let me have some. So how about it? No. Uh. Gotta rest. Alright, she's moving her hands. And she's done. I'm at my limit. 
All right. I'm doing one. Uh, you beat me. Pretty good managing your vitality, huh? I've still got a lot to learn. Right, I'll just have us fight her again, so let's not. Alright, sure got a lot. My, my. The fact you managed to get this far can only mean one thing. <laughs> you must be a male worthy of being corrupted. That pollen is dangerous. Indeed. Oh, let's keep going. 